are clean. Any question from the chairman to chief second? Any question from the For the latest loops and scoops, subscribe to Nagi, the Dan Avi. Work like scum. Bless up to you all my viewers and subscribers and welcome back to another episode of Nagi World TV. Today we'll be looking at the life of Trevor Burbick. Yeah man, Trevor Burbick, that famous boxer. Yeah man, me no one not found probably aware of him, but aware of him, but for those who don't aware of him, no fret. Today me I go enlighten you. You see me? Before I start the, 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 the video, I want to hold on just like up the video for him now so that YouTube can suggest it to other people. You see it? Because you don't know so that work out and help out with the algorithm and that little something there. Don't. Yeah, anyways, as most of you know, Trevor Burbick was a famous Jamaican boxer. No jokes about it. Bad. You see me? He had an illustrious career over the years, years my viewers and subscribers. You see me? Trevor Burbick was born on August 1st, 1954. He died at age 52. He's a Leo and he's from Port Antonio. East Portland to be exact, my viewers and subscribers in our little community called Norwich. Trevor Burbick was the world former heavyweight champion. And he was also one of the greatest athletes of his time. And was the last boxer to even defeat the legendary boxer Muhammad Ali. At the age of 21, Burbick represented Jamaica in the 1976 Summer Olympics in Montreal, Quebec, Canada as an heavyweight boxer despite having had only 11 prior amateur bouts. His lack of experience was evident as he lost to the eventual silver medalist Mercia Simon of Romania. However, he still displayed a lot of prom promise as a young heavyweight boxer. The previous year, in his only bout at the Pan American Games in Mexico City, Burbick lost a decision to future heavyweight champion Michael Dokes in the semi finals winning a bronze medal. Leroy Cadwell, a boxer who fought almost all notable top ranked heavyweights of the 1970s and 1980s, including several world champions, recalled that Burbick was his most talented opponent so after not all the time of viewers trevor burbick indeed a display the potential is i mean i said no jokes about it something was special about him you see me and me for one me find him interesting you see me i say because as you know you know muhammad ali and a really one normal boxer you see me i say and for you beat muhammad ali trust me that is something to acknowledge you see me and the fact same jamaican too you don't know the thing go after the 1976 Olympics, Trevor Burbick decided to end his amateur boxing career and start a professional boxing career. In this pursuit, my viewers, he left Jamaica and settled in Canada. His earlier fights were around the era of Halifax, where he fought numerous boxers and won 11 fights, out of which 10 were knockouts. So you can see, say, I did one bad box on my viewers and subscribers. Tough in the ring. Yes, man. In 1977, he fought various boxers like Joe May, Willie Moore, Eddie Owens, and Eugene Green. All these fights were fought in Canada, and he managed to win them all. From 1978 to 1980, he became a better fighter and moved up in the league, whilst taking on the likes of boxers like John Tate, Gregory Johnson, Greg Sorrentino, Chuck Gardner, Chuck Finley, and many more. The first loss in his professional career game came against Bernardo Mercado on April 3rd, 1979. It was a knockout in the first round as an amateur boxer. Trevor Burbick had beaten Mercado but failed to win in the professional league. Trevor Burbick's first big fight in the United States at Caesars Palace was set on April 11th, 1981 against Larry Holmes, also known as the Eastern Assassin. Burbick lost the fight against Larry Holmes in a 15-round unanimous decision. After his loss with Holmes, Sports International promoted a fight between Ali and Burbick. His biggest success happened when he beat the greatest boxer of all time, Muhammad Ali. On December 11, 1981, this match was kind as a drama in Bahama, as it was fought at Nassau, Bahamas and ended with a score of 97-94 to 94 for him. Trevor Burbick continued his winning streak from 1982 to 1986, where he fought the likes of Gordon Rossett, 
Greg Page, Ronaldo Snipes, ST Garden, Ken Lacosta, Mike Cohen, Mark Lee, Andros Ernebar, Walter Santemur, David Bay, Mitch Green, and Mike Perkins are won most of the fights. Trevor Burbick's reign as WBC World Heavyweight Champion lasted just eight months and he lost the title to Mike Tyson on November 22, 1986 in a second round knockout. And I want to tell you some of viewers and subscribers the reason why Trevor Burbick it loses a fighter to Mike Tyson it was because Mike Tyson never did really appreciate the way how Trevor Burbick did deal with Muhammad Ali in a one of the match them. You get what I say? That fight that lasted up to 15 rounds in particular, which um, Trevor Burbick won by unanimous decision. Mike Tyson wanted to take revenge so badly on Trevor Burbick because he said that he didn't appreciate the way how he had beaten Muhammad Ali. Reason being, he was saying that Muhammad Ali had nothing left in him and Trevor Burbick was eating Muhammad Ali with everything that he got, you see me, or that he had. So, therefore, that kind of trigger off a little feud or a little rivalry between Mike Tyson and Trevor Burbick. Also, Mike Tyson touched on the point that from his experience with him and from what he has heard from other people, it is a been said that um it was being said that um Burbick he was a type of a problem man, like a bad man, yeah. He said that it's good enough that you're a fighter, a boxer, but it's bad. That is both of them a fighter and a bad man. You get what I say? So, therefore, you must say, oh, a man like that, he wouldn't live around for long. You get what I say? Check out a little clip of this interview and hear what Mike Tyson had to say. That when you fought him, was there any revenge? Or 100%, anything? yes, no doubt about it. <laughs> I was going to kill him. He had, Ali didn't have nothing left. He could have been, he was trying to kill him. Mm. So I said, oh, I can't wait till I get him. Him and Larry Holmes. Him and Larry. Yeah. And um, I don't know what went down, but my experience with Mr. Um, Trevor Burbick and people, he was kind of like a bully, tough guy. So you got to be careful. You're a fighter and you're tough. Mm -hmm. the, odds of, the odds of you living long is just not good. It's not good. Right. It's bad enough that you're a boxer or a tough guy. Now you're both of them? Yeah, you're not going to be around long. While Burbick was overseas, he was arrested on a number of occasions, my viewers. Yes, man, throughout his life, you see me, always have run-ins with the law. You see it? He was sentenced in Florida to five years in prison for raping his children's babysitter in 1992. He served only 15 months. And then, in 1997, he violated his parole and was deported from the United States to Canada. Due to his legal issues, he also had problems staying in Canada, losing his landed immigrant status and being ordered back to Jamaica in 1999. Later, in 1999, he won the right to remain in Canada. Trevor Burbick's career ended in 2000 after he was diagnosed with a blood clot in his brain, you see me? And his boxing license was cancelled as well. After that, my viewers and subscribers, Burbick retired in florida to be with his wife and four children you see me he had three children with his first wife in montreal and then he started to train boxers at kenny barris gym in tamara florida while in florida his problems escalated and this caused him to be again deported from the u.s on the second of december 2002 After Trevor Burby got deported and came back to Jamaica, he went and lived back in the CM community of Norwich in Port Antonio, Portland. He and the residents of the community, they would catch up from time to time because you don't know the thing go, the blood clot when they receive because of the amount of boxing in the previous years. You don't know the thing go, you have a little negative effect on the mental space. So see that people free them and the fox him a boxer too. Nobody can to too confront him. You see me? However, more in particularly, him catch up with um, Mosim's sister, which is Harold Burbick's mother. You get me? We have some land argument, my viewers and subscribers. The party really took me home. You see me? Because I say, oh, all these years you're a box. How oh, you have to in an argument with your family over land? Anyways, the 
argument must cause Trevor Burbick for Tom Tom Pop, Harold Burbick's mother fierce. Yeah, man, deal with the thing weak in my viewers and subscribers like a punching bag. So, Harold Burbick come home the day and see my dad ball, fierce fat up too. So, him say, Mommy, warm to you. Mommy, now nah, talk to him, why love me, mother? Then, him mother, woman up and make him know what go and say, Trevor do it. I get to understand you know, my viewers and subscribers, Harold Burbick and a uh, co accused Kenton Garden, two of them plan up and them shell out Trevor Burbick head. These two players on the night of a setup, yeah. May I get to understand the man them go lay with Trevor Burbick at a little churchyard and while him pass, them just run out on him with a crowbar and another blunt object and a lone head lick my viewers and subscribers. Yeah man, them hack him, no jokes about it, then they use him rash. The nephew, Harold Burbick, end up got um, a life in prison sentence while his co-accused, Kenton Gardner, he got um, 14 years. You see me? At the time when Harold commit the crime, he was 20 years old. And at the time, Kenton Gardner, he was 18 years old. He was supposed to come out already, but you don't know the thing. Go. Harold Burbick still behind the bars. You see me? A robbing time. No jokes about it. May I even I get to understand that? He was very technologically savvy, you see me? And he did bad pan his own too, bad mixing DJ. I even get to understand that a protege that came out of his camp was Bigger Five. Yes, man, Bigger Five, everybody familiar with. Yeah, Harold Burbick, really cute at the Monday, you see me? So you don't know the thing of my viewers and subscribers, as I say, he was a humble you, but I just chip him chip right now anybody would have do that too car probably would have do the same thing too no jokes about it you see me it really rough still my viewers and subscribers you know so the way trevor burby go but me not lie me find him as a very interesting athlete you see me i say no jokes about it yeah man it's a pity it's a pity they have anger issues you see me i say anger problems you see me no jokes about it he was also ranked as the 983rd popular Leo of all times. He has been listed as the 13th most famed Jamaican and the 59th most popular professional boxer. In 1991, he was caught by the police in a street fight with former professional boxer Larry Holmes. Check out this small clip of the fight and listen to what Larry Holmes had to say about Trevor Berbick. In my spine and the punch upside my jaw. <laughs> It's mad. Mad. You know, Burbick ended up getting murdered by his own nephew uh, at 52 years old some years later. I don't feel bad about for him. God don't like ugly. And probably most of y'all probably wondering what is all of that about with Larry Holmes and Trevor Burbick. Well, earlier in the video I mentioned where they had a public confrontation well what really transpired or what triggered larry holmes to attack trevor burbick was because trevor burbick was a bad mouth in larry holmes family his wife in particular you see me and larry holmes he didn't take that too well or you know so he had to defend his wife or family like any man would do trevor burbick's boxing career or his boxing record ended in a total of 61 fights out of the 61, he got 49 wins, and 29 of those wins were by KO. He had 11 losses and one draw. So, you can see this man record it really impressive, no jokes about it. You see me, I say, a long time Jamaica, a stamp class in a history. Anyways, I've come to the end of my video. If you have learned anything, please like, subscribe, and share. You get me? I place a lot of work in this video. So if you do enjoy it, just let it be reflected in the engagements. Big up on yourself. Walk good. I'm out. For the latest loops and scoops, subscribe to Nagi. They don't have it. Walk like scum.